What's going on guys, I'm Ghosty, and today we're going to be talking about how to improve as a player. I've been getting a ton of questions on stream on how to be a better player, and so today i put together this video to help you improve and get to that victory screen just a bit easier. Selecting a portal. Choosing where to drop is going to start the overall pace of the game and partly determines how easy or difficult attaining victory will be. I see a lot of new players selecting portals to random areas on the map with no landmarks and never being able to achieve that victory. Not only are you depriving yourself of loot, but you're also never going to learn how to play the game as you get into combat so late and end up with a strong disadvantage due to lack of equipment. I highly suggest you choose to land just on the outside of largely named areas, loot a few chests, and then move into where everyone hot dropped. This not only gives you a quick minute or two to freely loot, but now you have a strong loot advantage over everyone that is currently fighting on the hot drop for an easy third party. Survival is key. Although I'm saying survival is key, this doesn't mean hiding in bushes and never taking a fight. If you never go into combat, you're never going to learn how to play the game. What I mean about survival is survival in combat. Be patient in combat and pay attention to your surroundings and the projectiles your opponents are throwing. The only projectiles you cannot actively watch and dodge are frost and lightning. All other projectiles in the game are easily dodged depending on the distance. So keep distance from your opponents and watch how they fight. Put your mindset into a place to not panic and study exactly what's going on as it's happening. It doesn't matter if you die, as you're just trying to watch how different playstyles act and react in combat. I cannot harp enough on how important it is to not panic. Once you panic, all rational thought leaves your head, and this is where the biggest mistakes are made. If you notice yourself start to panic, just leave the fight, use teleport or flight or whichever rune you're using at the time, and fully reset and heal up. And don't just reset in-game, but also reset mentally and take a deep breath and then go back in. As I said before, if you never go into combat, you're never going to learn how to play the game. If you never go into combat, you will never get used to keeping your mental in control to not panic. It will be normal to panic at first, but the more you force yourself into troubling situations in the game, the better you will learn how to react. Hitting your shots. Now that we learned how to not panic and survive in combat, we can focus on landing our shots and exiling people as quickly as possible. In any battle royale, Spellbreak especially, it is important to finish off your opponents as quickly as possible to reduce the chances of being third partied. Every single spell in Spellbreak is a projectile which naturally increases the skill ceiling of the game. You will always have to lead your shots in combat including lightning and frost which are the fastest projectiles in the game. As a good general rule, in the typical range of combat, you will want to be aiming for the opponent's arm or shoulder in the direction they're moving. Of course, this may always change based on distance and the gauntlet you're using, but this is a good starting point to understand where to begin your aim. Once you've hit a shot, take a mental note of where to aim. This is a great time to pick a gauntlet and stick with it for a while so you can understand the projectile size and speed. One of the worst things you can do when on the attack is spam. Stop spamming your attacks. Refrain from spamming as this will only make you miss more often. Since you're not putting full thought into each spell and forcing yourself to have to go out of mana, which is when you're most vulnerable. Just like in surviving and dodging spells, patience is key to finding the best opportunities to cast your spells. Keep a cool head, be patient, and your opponents will make mistakes you can capitalize on. Practice makes perfect. At the end of the day, nothing will be better than practice. Watching YouTube videos, streams, and reading tips will only get you so far. They will definitely give you a basic understanding and help you to improve, but nothing is better than pressing that play button and putting your skills to the test. If you only have 10 minutes and want to get some spell break in, go into the practice mode and jump around the pillars to get better precision jumping and controlling your levitate, or do crazy movement with your runes and see how quickly you can hit the target dummies while reorienting yourself. There are a multitude of different ways to practice, and focusing on what you need to improve on is the best way to achieve that victory screen. With this video on how to improve, you'll be one step closer to attaining that victory screen. If you have any tips that have helped you personally improve, let me know in the comments below. This is Ghosty, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget you can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content and updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the Hololands.